Hello, everyone. I'm Miyuki. Hi, everyone. I'm Vicky. Welcome to our podcast. Ego de chotto i hanashi. And that means a little conversation in English. And in this podcast, we talk about differences between Japanese culture and Western culture. And we give you tips for learning to speak English. I hope you enjoy our conversation. Now, let's get started. Hi, Vicky, how are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you doing today?、Oh, I'm great. <laughs> Because I'm on summer holiday from today. Oh, nice.、Yeah. So, it's summer holidays in Japan at the moment. Yes, in Japan, this holiday is called、mm-hmm. Obon. And、mm-hmm. I'm sure you know Obon season in Japan.、Mm-hmm. Mm, so, many people, many office workers have a holiday for a few days or over a week in this time of year. So, okay, that sounds good.、Yeah, so, so, how、mm. about you? Do you have any plans to go on vacation or go on a trip anywhere? Okay, <laughs> thank you for asking. But I don't have any plans to go on a trip during this、mm-hmm. holiday. So, but I have some reasons.、Mm-hmm. <laughs> First, I, I love staying home, as you know. <laughs> And、so, you're going to have a staycation?、Hmm. Yeah, staycation. <laughs> It's a good one. <laughs> I want time to read books. <laughs> and it's too hot outside.、Mm-hmm. And maybe I, we, we are going to see our parents, like our parents and our parents in law.、Mm-hmm. But, but they live. Yeah, close to our house, so、mm-hmm. we don't need to travel to meet them.、Mm-hmm. And yeah, unfortunately,、uh, it's the peak season. Oh, high course, season. yeah.、Mm-hmm. So, so, airfare or hotel charges,、mm-hmm. everything is expensive.、Mm-hmm. Okay, well, a staycation sounds perfect for you because、yes. I know you like reading a lot, and I know、yes. recently you've been writing a lot. So, <laughs> please enjoy your staycation. <laughs> Thank you. I, I want to write another article <laughs> this week. <laughs> and on top of that, the, this is also the season of typhoons in Japan. So, oh, of course it is, isn't it? So、actually, some typhoons are approaching Japan, so yeah, I insist <laughs> that it's safe to stay <laughs> at home. <laughs> it's okay, you'll be safe. You can tape、mm. up the windows, stay inside. <laughs> yeah, yeah, be nice and cozy inside. Yes, I have good excuses to stay at home. <laughs>、mm, okay, but putting my story aside, for many people, this is a、uh, travel season. Mm-hmm. So, why don't we talk about trips today? I think that's a good、mm. idea for a topic. <laughs> okay, but I'm not a yeah, travel person. So, <laughs> could you tell me your own experiences of traveling? Yeah, sure.、Um, yeah, so in, in the UK as well, August tends to be the, the high season for travel.、Oh, really? Um, yeah, I think it's mostly because kids in the UK they usually get about six weeks summer holiday.、Mm. So when the kids have a summer holiday, it's convenient for families to go,、ah, to go traveling.、So、it's the end of the academic year, right?、Mm-hmm. It、mm. is, yeah. So that's why.、Mm. So,、um, yeah, when, when I was younger,、um, My family were actually very typical of British people, and we went to Spain for the <laughs> summer holiday. Yeah, I, I like the story. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you remember my story about yeah, yeah, yeah. how my mother forced me to use the tanning machine、yeah. before we went to Spain? <laughs> yeah, to prepare to get tanned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think we talked about that in a previous episode, didn't、mm, we? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so、uh, it's typical for British people to go to Spain for summer. 
It's very typical, yeah, because um, as I've mentioned, in the UK, it's not always hot in summer. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes we want hot weather. Sometimes we want some sunshine. So <laughs> it's really common for British people to go to Spain or any other kind of Mediterranean country uh, like Italy or Greece mm -hmm. or somewhere like that. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know. It's mm -hmm. like a beach resort. Mm -hmm. and yeah. These countries are really popular for Japanese people as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how about in Japan? Mm -hmm. What are the beach re resort places for Japanese people? Uh, so it must be Okinawa. Mm. Oh, so okay. I've been to Okinawa um, sometimes. Yeah, it was good. Mm -mm. And the, the beach mm, was the most beautiful I've ever seen. Oh, lovely. Mm. But, but the problem is, yeah, again, it's the season of the typhoons. Mm -hmm. So I have an experience to cancel to go to Okinawa Ooh. at the last minute. <laughs> 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 it was sad. <laughs> so That uh, sounds a bit mm, risky. Risky, yes. So we need to take a plane ticket beforehand. Mm -hmm. But... Uh, yes, but mm, when we go, when we go to Okinawa, mm, if the typhoon is approaching, it's very difficult to go there. Mm, so, yeah, actually we went to the airport, but mm, unfortunately we cancelled. It. You had to cancel your whole holiday at the yeah, airport. So I did. Yes. Oh God, that is so disappointing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> mm, but at that time, we changed our destination, and we mm -hmm. yeah decided to go to um, Tohoku, mm -hmm. north side of Japan, and uh, yeah, it was good. Uh, we we went to Aomori. Wow. Mm -hmm. Sendai and mm, so this summer holiday is also the season of festivals. Mm -hmm. uh, we went to see famous festival there, like Nebuta Matsuri. Mm. Oh, I've heard of that one. <laughs> is that the one? It's like a, a big parade. Yes, big parade with lots mm. of lots of big. I don't know what, what you call it. Like lots of big. I know, light up. Light effect. up, yes. Like in different That's shapes. It. Yes. That's it. Really traditional Japanese festivals. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, I've seen pictures of that and that sounds amazing. So yes. you must have had a good trip. Mm, yes. So it was yeah, disappointing at first, mm, but it ended up mm, to be a good trip. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I think Tohoku is probably safer. <laughs> I know you t you tend to get typhoons in Okinawa, but not so much in Tohoku. Mm, yes, uh, we, we, we can take bread train to get there. Mm -hmm. mm, so it's safer, I think. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, so, mm. so aside from Spain, mm -hmm. <laughs> so what country have you ever been? Oh, okay. Um, okay. I've been to a few countries. Uh, mm. First, I'll talk about European countries. Mm. Um, I've been to France a few France. times, ah. um, which is really typical because France mm. is so close to the UK. Mm. Um, and one of the convenient points about going from the UK to France is there are many different ways you can get there. Mm -hmm. So the first time I went there, it was on a school trip yeah. and we went by ferry, you know, by a, a small ship. <laughs> and one time I went by airplane mm -hmm. on a really cheap budget airline. Mm -hmm. And another time I went under the sea in the Channel Tunnel. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can get to France by plane very um like bus 
we were on a bus mm -hmm. yeah it was a bus that went direct uh I think it started in London and then it went to Paris or somewhere in the north of France and yeah like the bus just went down to to Dover where the port is mm -hmm. and then onto like um like a, a big vehicle where buses and cars can go and then that goes under the sea in a tunnel and then you come out in France and then the bus just continues to, to Paris. Hi. Oh, I didn't know that. It's so close. Mm. So uh, how, how long does it take to get to France by bus? Um, it's really convenient, actually. Um, going in the Channel Tunnel, that only takes about 30 minutes. 30 minutes? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. And mm. as you know, there's a, a train called Eurostar, which mm. goes direct from London to Paris. I haven't taken it because I think it's quite expensive, mm. but that's a very, a very smooth, very convenient way of getting there as well. Mm. Okay, it's like for Japanese people to go to another Japanese island. <laughs> mm. That's it. Yeah, like going from Honshu to Hokkaido. Yeah. yeah. When I was a kid, I went to Hokkaido by ferry <laughs> mm -hmm. mm, or by train okay mm -hmm. uh, so i think it's similar <laughs> okay so there's a tunnel from honshu to hokkaido mm, yes okay yeah it's really similar then mm. yeah okay oh it sounds really convenient mm, to go to France it is really convenient okay Oh, yeah, so. actually traveling around Europe is, it's really convenient in itself um, because a lot of countries are in the European Union, mm -hmm. which means that um, many countries, they have an agreement to make it easy to go from one country to the other. Mm -hmm. So, for example, um, I went to Austria for one week at one point and mm -hmm. I was visiting a friend in Austria and one evening my friend said to me would you like to go to a concert tonight mm -hmm. and I said yeah yeah I'd like to go to a concert and my friend said well the concert's in Germany mm. and I was like oh okay yeah that's fine um and it was really convenient because we got in the car in Austria and then we drove into Germany and we spent the night in Germany, we went to the concerts, and then the same evening we could drive back into Austria. Oh, so wasn't there any procedure to go <laughs> to Germany? You mean like a passport check? Yeah. Mm. Well, yeah, this, this surprised me actually, and I mm. said, like, is, is there no passport check? Because yeah. You know, we could just drive, drive smoothly. Um, and my friend said, um, he said, no, there's an area in Europe called the Schengen area. And the Schengen area is a group of countries. And these countries have an agreement that if people want to go from one country, cross the border to another country, you don't have to show your passport. Oh. So you can go to other European countries without border checks? It depends on the country. Ah, okay. Yeah. If you plan to go to Europe, like, please mm. check because mm -hmm. Europe is complicated. And yeah, we have the European Union, but not all countries are in the Schengen area. Okay. It's mostly just the Western European countries. Uh, so is the UK also in the Schengen area no we're not um <laughs> even even when the, the uk was in the eu oh. we were not in the schengen area no mm -hmm. because it's a um, island <laughs> <laughs> yeah because it's an island so we have a bit of a island mentality <laughs> um so yeah, if you go from the UK to France, you do have to show your passport. Mm -hmm. But the passport check is quite relaxed. It's oh. not not really that strict at all. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when you go to France, mm -hmm. you need to show your passport. 
But after you do after you leave France and go to、mm -hmm. another country, like if Germany the, or Germany Italy or, or Italy, somewhere, yeah, yeah, you can go freely.、Mm. Exactly. Yeah.、Uh, of course, you should still take your passports.、Uh -huh. You know, just in case. You know,、uh -huh. somebody in another country might want to check.、Mm. But when you cross the border from France to Spain or Germany or Italy, then you don't need to show your passports. Oh, I didn't know that.、Mm, yeah. Nah,、yeah. in Japan we also have the the island mentality. So.、Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I have the image that we, when we go to another country, <laughs> we have a border check, and it、mm -hmm. takes、yeah. time. <laughs>、mm -hmm. uh, so it's more like Japanese people go to another prefecture, like from Osaka <laughs> to Kyoto. <laughs> exactly. Yeah,、um, that's it. Yeah.、Um, yeah. So I. I have I've never been to European countries,、mm -hmm. uh, but、uh, when I have a chance to go there,、mm -hmm. yeah, I'd love to visit some countries、mm -hmm. if it's so convenient.、Mm -hmm. Yeah, you you absolutely should.、Um, mm -hmm. It is really convenient, and of course, another convenient point is、mm -hmm. a lot of countries have the same money. Ah,、oh, euro. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't need to exchange money. Yes, but again, it depends on the country.、Uh -huh. um, <laughs> Europe, Europe is complicated. Please <laughs> check before you go because not all European countries use the euro.、Mm. Okay. Yeah, I'll check before I go there.、Mm. Many of them do, but、mm. not all EU countries use the euro. And of course, not all European countries are in the EU. For example, the UK isn't, and Switzerland also is not in the EU.、Ah. So they don't use the euro, and they're not part of the Schengen area.、Mm -hmm. I see. So now I know、uh, traveling within European countries it's really convenient. But how about the language? So. <laughs> People in European countries、uh, speak English.、Mm, okay, that's a really good question.、Mm. Um, it depends on the country.、Mm. Um, in some countries, most people speak English. For example, in、uh, in the Netherlands,、um, I think most people speak English.、Mm. Um, in Scandinavian countries like Norway, Sweden,、mm. Finland, I think most of them do. Um, in other countries, it depends on the area. In tourist areas, they probably will,、mm -hmm. but don't assume that everybody speaks English、um. because, in you know, in some countries, you know, it, you know, it depends on the person.、Um, in places like Spain and Italy, I think a few people speak English, but、mm -hmm. maybe most people don't. Okay. So when you went to Spain and、mm -hmm. France and Australia, no Austria, <laughs> Austria, <laughs> Austria. <laughs> so,、uh, so what language did you speak? <laughs> oh,、um, well, when I was in when I was in Spain, we were in a resort hotel,、mm. and the staff they could all speak English.、Ah. Um, when I was in France. I spoke French、ah. because I learned a bit of French at,、mm -hmm. at high school.、Um, for Austria,、um, in Austria they speak German, which I don't speak, so、mm. I spoke English in the. Yeah, I was in a tourist area in in、mm -hmm. Austria, so it was it was okay to speak. It、English、was okay.、Mm -hmm. Yeah.、Mm. But you make a good point there, actually, because. Yeah, going around Europe,、um, you know, you're aware that although Europe is European countries are very close,、mm -hmm. they do have different languages and they do have different cultures.、Mm. Um, one of the strangest experiences that I've had when traveling is going to America,、mm. 
And of course, in America, they speak English, uh, which is the same as as my native language. <laughs> so before I went to America, I thought, well, I thought American culture is maybe the same as UK culture <laughs> because the languages are the same. <laughs> and it was really convenient going to America. You know, I don't have to speak a foreign language. <laughs> But I was surprised because even though the language is the same, the culture was really, really different. <laughs> so you experienced a culture shock. <laughs> yeah, very much so. <laughs> okay, tell me about that. <laughs> sure. Okay. Um, I can think of I can think of two two instances. Um, mm. so first of all, uh, one time I went to a museum. In yeah. Washington DC, mm. and in the museum they had they had the American flag, and it was the original American flag, which they showed um, at the the Independence War, the war between America and the UK. When they won the war, they they flew the the American flag, the the stars and stripes flags. And they had a, a fake copy, a replica of this flag, and they got the customers to hold the flag. Mm. And then the staff said, "Okay, everybody, let's sing the national anthem." Mm. So the national song of America. So all the customers were singing the American national anthem, <laughs> except me, <laughs> because I don't know the words. And suddenly, I felt really, really different. Mm. Even though I speak the same language as these people, and I can communicate mm. with them, and I look pretty similar to most Americans, mm. it, yeah, I felt like yeah, I'm not the same as them. I'm really different. Mm. So, what was that for? I think it was for patriotism. Ah, oh. just loving their country. Mm. Um, Which Americans do, and it's really strange. Um, if you go to any American suburb in the north mm -hmm. of the country, you'll notice that American people have American flags in their gardens. Ah, oh. <laughs> I, I don't know why. It's really strange. Like, I don't know. Like, why have they done that? Like, do you, in case they forget what country they live in, I, I don't know. <laughs> I think it's just like they. <laughs> They love their country and they want to show their love of that country. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you mean But, it's totally different from your country? Yeah, yeah, like in the UK, we don't have we don't have British flags in our mm -hmm. gardens. But unless, okay, if it's a royal wedding or a royal <gasps> funeral or. Mm -hmm. You know, a new king, coronation, something like that. Yeah, we might. <laughs> yeah, but usually we don't. <laughs> yeah, same here in Japan. <laughs> right? Yeah, you don't have the what do you call it? Yeah, hinomaru. hinomaru? Mm. You don't have that in your garden. Mm, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, and the other culture shock yeah. that I experienced was, as I'm sure you know, in America. You are legally allowed to own a gun. Oh yeah, right. It's really, really easy to get a gun. Oh. And I was in America for my friend's wedding, and after the wedding, I stayed with my friend's cousin. Mm. And my friend's cousin, he lives in the countryside, and he had four guns. Four guns. <laughs> and they were quite big. I I don't oh. know why he needed them. Um, but he was very kind. He was a really nice guy, and he let me try them. Oh, so you held a gun? Yeah, I used the gun. You used? Wow. <laughs> you shot. <laughs> <laughs> it was the first time I'd ever done it. It's mm. absolutely. It's really, really difficult to own a gun in the UK. So I'd never done that before. Mm. Um, But if you get the experience to go to America, I I recommend it. Like you recommend it's a, it. <laughs> yeah, it's you know something different. You can't yeah, do it yeah. in Japan. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I believe mm. traveling is a good chance to experience the new culture. 
Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And if you speak English, you can go to uh, so many different places and, you know, come to the UK, go to America, mm. Australia, and the language is the same, but the culture is is very different. Uh, yeah, I think so. And uh, yeah, your story, yeah, made me think that <laughs> mm, it's a shame that I, I learn English, but I use English only in an introverted way, <laughs> like <laughs> reading books or <laughs> writing articles. Mm, I'm not a yeah, traveled person, but maybe mm -hmm. mm, I should yeah, plan to go to somewhere mm, to experience a new culture using English. If you have if you have the money and if you have the time, <laughs> um, yeah, I I highly recommend it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's, yeah, interesting. All different cultural experiences and yeah, like I say, I mean, America and the UK, same language, but they are totally different. Mm. Um, I mean, I'm sure a lot of our listeners are learning English at. Mm. Uh, English language schools in Japan and at those schools they have teachers from so many different countries mm -hmm. um, I was working at Berlitz there was teachers at yeah from UK Ireland America Canada Australia mm -hmm. New Zealand so many different places mm -hmm. and they do have different cultural backgrounds so you know it's an interesting chance to you know to ask people about their their experiences mm -hmm. Right. Mm. So even if we are in Japan, mm, we can mm -hmm. have that opportunity mm, to know the new culture from our teachers mm, or people. From yeah, absolutely. Mm. Yeah, ask, I'll ask them about their opinions on guns. You can get some really interesting. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I think so. Very interesting um, <laughs> responses there. Um, mm. Yeah, no, that just reminds me, I, I used to work for ECC, mm -hmm. and one time in the teacher's room, we we got into a bit of a fight. We were talking about gun control, oh. and the British teachers and the American teachers were had, like, completely opposite views about it. <laughs> oh, it's a dangerous topic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's difficult to understand each other <laughs> on that topic. <laughs> mm. Yeah, anyway, thank you for sharing your experience about your trips. No problem, and please enjoy your staycation. Staycation. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so see you next week. See you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. ということで英語でちょっという話エピソード62をお送りしました今日もお聞きいただきありがとうございますで今日は8月11日山の日にこれを収録しているんですけどえ今日から、えー、私も仕事が休みでお盆休みに入りましたということでお休みの方は、えー、旅行されたりとか帰省されたりとか計画がある方も多いかなと思うんですけど私はもっぱらあのステイケーションと切れて,ていたようにあの家にいることを楽しもうかと思っていますあの言い訳はいろいろしたんですけど、まあ、家にいるのが好きとかあと外は暑いとか実家が近いとかあとですね台風も来てますよねあのお出かけの予定の方はぜひ気をつけてあの過ごしくださいで、えー、とこの旅行のシーズンなので、えー、ビッキーと今ままでししたた旅行についてお話をしてみました私はあの英語を勉強している割には珍しいかもしれません海外旅行あまりあの行こうっていう人ではなくって、えーとまあ、国内旅行が多いんですよね、えー、なので、まあ、英語をせっかく勉強しているのにもったいないなっていうのはあるんですけど、えー、なので、まあ、ビッキーに、えー、今までの旅行のお話
をいろいろ聞いてみました。えっと、ミッキーはイギリスに住んでいるので、えっと、ヨーロッパの国がやっぱり、えー、行きやすいということで、フランスなんかは、あのトンネルもありますし、えー、フェリーで行ったりとか飛行機で行ったりとかバスで30分ぐらいで着くと言われてそんなに近かったんだと、えー、これは知らなかったんですがそのヨーロッパの国々はあの宣言協定というのが結ばれている国だと、えー、あれですねパスポートのチェックがなくてあの移動ができるというので非常に便利だと。いうふうにビッキーは言っていました。で、イギリスの人は、あの、夏があんまり天気が良くなくって、あんまり暑い夏っていう感じではないので、あの、地中海のいい天気のところ、スペインとかですね、イタリアとか、そういったところに旅行するのは結構お決まりだそうです。で、それ以外にも、あの、オーストラリアに行った時に、一晩だけ、えー、ドイツに行ったりとか、まあ、結構自由にあの行き来ができるということでとっても便利ですよね。で、あの、言語について聞いてみたら、英語でまあどこでも通じるというわけではなく、それはもう人による、国によるという感じで、ただ、あの、旅行者が多いところだと英語が通じることが多いということでした。で、まあ、英語で言うと、アメリカにビッキーがいた時は、えー、同じ英語を話す国なので、まあ、文化も同じだろうと思っていたら全然違ったというので、まあ、カルチャーショックを受けたということでしたね。で、えー、例えばあの美術館に行った時にあのアメリカの国旗ですねを持って、えー、と国歌を歌うように言われたということですがビッキーだけこう歌えなかったと。ということで、まあ、これは愛国心の表れでしょうねということなんですけど、えー、イギリスではそういうことはしないなということで文化の違いを感じたというのとあとは、えー、と銃ですね、えー、その友達のいとこがあの銃をうんと4つも持っていって使わせてくれたということで実際にあの使ってみたそうなんですけど、まあ、それはイギリスではなかなかできない経験なのでということであのすごく違いを感じたそうです。でもあのせっかく英語を勉強しているのでそういった旅行を通じてまたは、まあ、日本にいら,いらっしゃる他の国々の方を通じて新しい文化をこう知るというのはとてもいいいなと思いましたえっ、ー、と、毎日、このお盆は旅行によってはないんですけれども、まあ、いつか、あの、ヨーロッパの国とかね、行ってみたいなというふうに思いました。では、ま,あ、また皆さんも、あの、良い一週間お過ごしください。また次回のエピソードでお会いしましょう。